Good morning, my peepers. Welcome to Shalene's Creativity Room. It is Monday, February 12th. What's going on today? Yeah, February 12th. Weather for today. It says snow is coming, likely Tuesday afternoon. So right now it's 32, feels like 27. Today's high is 39 with a low of 27. Cloudy skies this morning will become partly cloudy this afternoon. Winds northwest of 5 to 10 miles per hour. Humidity 63%. Sunset 5.38 p.m. Yeah, it's, it's a little nippy out there. I let the dog out. It's a little nippy out. So today's what? The 12th? No birthdays today. No birthdays today. Okay. Today's national day. National clean out your computer day. Yeah, I need to go through my emails. Taking time out of your day to do some basic housekeeping on your computers, regular organizing and cleanup. This includes a removal of old files and clutter. We tend to save emails, documents, and photos on our hard drives when other media can store them for us. Often we keep duplicates we don't need. Uh, make sure you are using the latest versions of programs and operating systems too. So, yeah, that's today. Today's wisdom quote. Who you are is defined by what you're willing to struggle for by Mark Manson. Today's words of the day. Word, word, word of the day. Word, 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 word of the day. Today's first word is reptilian. It's an adjective. One, contemptible. Two, treacherous. Or three, like a reptile. The other word of the day is furbelo, right? Furbelo. 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 As a noun, one, a gathered strip or pleated border of a skirt or a petticoat. Two, showy ornaments or trimmings, or as a verb, adorn with trimmings. Today's horoscope for Aries. Things that require restriction and discipline on your part may be causing tension and opposition in your world today. The good news is that your mind is clear and you should feel in tune with the people around you. Know your allies and take care of them. Remind others of how much they mean to you. The most important aspects of your life are your friends and family, so treat them with unconditional love. What to watch, because today is Monday. What to watch. The Fault in Our Stars is on Hulu. The week kicks off with the sensitive moon in your sign, so you may as well give in to the big feelings by watching the sweet and emotional coming-of-age romance. If you're craving a little more action, check out the acclaimed World War II-themed show Band of Brothers. I would like to see the fault in our stars. I have not watched that. The fault in our stars. Okay, that's this week's movie. If I get to it, I didn't get to last week's. I did not. Okay, how did we do yesterday? Okay, where's Saturdays? Right here. I did not write Saturday, so let's get this all done. Saturday, 
Saturdays and Sundays. Okay, in green. So, Saturday, we stitched on Hey the Cat, the Astrology Cat. I put in 207 stitches. Paid stocking. Fifty four stitches. Paid rosy. Sixty two stitches. Nora Corbett Cleo. 897 stitches. Okay, so the books for Saturday. I finished Cajun Justice by James Patterson. That was good. The Whisper House. by Dawn Merriman and that I have a blog tour for this Sunday my review is up on TikTok and Goodreads but it won't be on my blog until Sunday Little Deaths which was an arc that I got several years ago and finally got to that is by Emma Flint that was really good. So that was for Saturday. So Cleo, I used penalty stitches for 24 hours of cross stitch, the letter O. Cross stitch st sisters, the letter V. Pop culture stitching, the letter G. And crafts and books, the letter Y. And I'm done with crafts and books acrostic for the month. I, I uh, got it all out. I got it all done. Okay, now yesterday was Haid Astrology Cat. Two hundred stitches. Haid Stocking. With seventy five stitches. Paid Rosie with 62 stitches. Paid Snowy with 510 stitches. So yeah, we watched the Super Bowl. We were going for the 49ers. In the back of my mind, I had a feeling that the Chiefs would win, but I was rooting for the 49ers. Reba McIntyre sang the National Anthem. She did an awesome job. And I don't usually care for the, for the halftime show, but I really liked yesterday's. You know, this is what gets me. You're promoting your music. You don't need to be half-dressed like the women. They're not even half-dressed. They're not even hardly dressed when they do the Super Bowl halftime show. You are promoting your voice. Now, maybe because in the back of my mind, I don't like most of the women singers they've had on halftime show. I don't like... 
Beyonce. I don't like her music. I don't like J Lo's music, but I love J Lo as a as a um, as a actress. I absolutely love her her movies, but as her music, I don't like her music. They've had a lot of them on. But who was on? Was it? Is his name Adam Levine? Adam Levine? He was on without his shirt, and women had a fit. What? It's okay for these women to show half their tits in their ass, but it's not okay for a guy to have a shirt off? You fucking people don't make any sense to me. I'm sorry. I did not mean to swear, but it just it doesn't make any sense to me. He had on jeans. What the hell? Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Um. So yesterday, the audiobook I listened to was from NetGalley. It doesn't come out till later this month, and it's called The Wife's Mistake. I need to do a, uh, um, a book review on my blog for it. And the author, because I keep forgetting the author, is Lorna. Duneva. Okay, so this couple won the lottery. I think they're in England. They won the lottery. She found the ticket. It was her ticket. She found it. She didn't want it. At the time, she thought her husband was seeing someone from work. So she was afraid if she told him, he would take half the money and run. So she's hiding her ticket. Well, she hid it like in a canister of tea or something in the pa pantry. So she kept it from him. She quit her job. Her, she, her dream was to always open a coffee shop. So she starts spending money because she knows she's got this ticket. Well, all of a sudden, there's no money in their account, and her husband can't figure out why. So she said she'll take care of it. And then he finds the ticket, and he's so excited. He thought she just threw it in there for no reason. And she did not tell him she already knew. And that's where all hell goes loose. I don't think there was one char there was maybe one character in this whole book that I liked. At first... I didn't like the father. Natalie, was her name Natalie? I didn't like her father. But then later on I did. He's got Alzheimer's. And um, I don't know. There, he was okay. And then there was another woman on there. It was her best friend's mom. I liked her all the way to the end. But the rest of the characters in the book... No, they're all liars, they're cheaters, they're, they keep secrets from each other. It was just one mess after another. It was just a mess. Like, no. Okay, so I need to move this week's over. So this week is the bathroom and the hallway. I have two halls. Um, I do the main hallway when I clean the bathroom. And today is what? the 12th, So the 10th and the 11th is when I worked on Rosie. Cleo, oh, Snowy was yesterday. And Cleo was, was Saturday. Okay. 
there is that. Okay, so today I want to listen to or watch. I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna watch some a couple Disney movies. I think I'm behind on Disney movies, so I'm gonna watch those. Um. Let's do news break. George in the, is her name Amal Clooney? Welcome new addition to their family. Meet Nelson. A lovable St. Bernard puppy. Okay. Winter storm. Nearing New York. How much snow to expect? It's a nor'eastern. Oh, then we're in trouble. Doesn't say it. Say in New York City. It's Jello Week in New York State. See, Jello started out here in Leroy, New York, and the Jello, the Jello. Museum is here. I have never been in the Jello Museum, but the Jello Factory also used to be here. So, yeah, February 12th through the 18th is Jello Week. Jello was invented in the town of Leroy in Genesee County, which is my town. Pearl Waite was experimenting with gelatin in 1897 when he came up with the fruit flavored dessert. Leroy is also home to the Jell-O Gallery Museum, which I have never been to. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift melted fans' hearts by celebrating the Chief Super Bowl win with post-game kiss. Prince William raging over Prince Harry's 24-hour trip to the UK. If he were king, things would be looking a little differently. There's a new report that suggests Pr Prince William is still raging over the fact that his brother Prince Harry traveled to the UK for just 24 hours to see their father after it was announced that he was diagnosed with cancer. Yep, well, he saw his dad. His dad seemed to be fine, right? And then he went home to his children and his wife. Get over it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Am I in one of those moods today? I guess so. Rest in peace. 21 is no age in the slightest. Gone too soon. Tributes pour in for J Japanese wrestler after tragic passing at 21. She was... She uh, was in an unexpected accident. Oh, it's shamrock season at McDonald's. Oh. Delayed school start times for Batavia City School District, which is where Justin lives. For all schools, the Batavia High School and Batavia Middle School will start at 10 a.m. And the primary will start at 11. He stated, the superintendent stated the late starts are necessary for the district strategic plan. Whatever that means. NFL playoffs, what we learned from Chiefs overtime win versus 49ers. 
All I can say is it was a good game. It was a close game. They went into overtime. Jackson Mahomes banned from Taylor Swift's suite because he's dating Travis's ex, Kayla. What? Well, I guess Travis Kelsey dropped more than a million dollars to buy a luxury suite at the Super Bowl. And Travis and Taylor's families will sit together in Travis's same Super Bowl suite. So will teammate Brittany Mahomes and Patrick's mom and close friends. Two people that won't be in the suite media takeout is here and are Patrick's father and his brother, Jackson. Jackson tried to get into Patrick's VIP area yesterday and was denied. <laughs> Patrick's father won't be there because, well, he's just a little too hood to be allowed in the vicinity of Taylor Swift. Usher and girlfriend Jennifer whatever obtained marriage license ahead of Super Bowl performance. I can't pronounce her last name. Watch Travis Kelsey shove and yell at Andy Reid after a Chiefs lost fumble in Super Bowl at 58. Trump drops sad Nikki Haley divorce bombshell. Who cares? Shareholder alert. Pomerantz Law Firm announces the filing of a class action against New York Community Bank Corp. Okay. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin rushed to hospital again Sunday. It's happening. Taylor Swift arrives at, arrives at Super Bowl 58 to support boyfriend Travis Kelsey. I, I, don't, I only saw them pan on her like once or twice. Mel, Melena Trump video with his opponent leaks. I did not see this. Streaker runs on field at Super Bowl. I did not see the streaker. Did you guys see the streaker? How did I miss that? I was cross-stitching during the Super Bowl. I looked up during the commercials. Partial streaker on the field. And they show him taking him away during the third quarter. How'd I miss that? That's too funny. Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey leaves Kansas City Chiefs stars in tears with emotional speech before Super Bowl. Do, 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 do. You've got mail. New York could be hit by 12 inches of snow. Winter storm watch issued for upstate New York. I don't know. We'll see if it hits here. Super Bowl National Anthem Singer. Yes, Reba did an awesome job.
she did one of the best jobs in a while. And I don't usually like the halftime show, but I liked Usher. Judge resign, resigns after being caught texting from bench during murder, murder trial of toddler. A judge in Oklahoma has stepped down after she was caught texting and mocking prosecutors during the trial of a two-year-old boy who was murdered. That was in Oklahoma. One month old baby dead after her mom allegedly put her down for a nap in an oven mistakenly. What? You don't accidentally put a baby in an oven. That's just, no, that's not an accident. Poor child. It's not an accident. Ava Sambora, daughter of Heather Locklear and Richie Sambora, is engaged to boyfriend Tyler Farrar. News break. Here's a new one. Just came on. That'll be the last one. Super Bowl, piece of shit, Travis Kelsey ripped apart on Twitter after assaulting Chiefs coach Andy Reid on sidelines. Uh, and that is it for today. I need to get moving. It is 11.09 a.m. And you know me, I'll probably forget to come in here and publish this. So you'll probably get it later in the day because I have a tendency to do that. I'm going to go sit and stitch. Look at my cross-stitch planner for today for books or movies and get caught up on stuff. So I will see you guys all tomorrow. You all have a great day. Love you guys. Bye-bye.